Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to cover SpotX, which has become the most requested feature or tool I've ever presented on my channel. This tool offers some nice visual improvements over standard GEX and updates throughout the day, which I've never seen any dealer positioning related service do. Before we get started, I'll leave several referral codes for trading services I use in the description, including TradeEdix, Elite Trader Funding, and Sonar Labs that will give us both discounts. Lastly, if you enjoyed this content, don't forget to like and subscribe to help me grow this channel. With all that being said, let's get right into it. So the first thing I want to talk about is how to get to the GEX, the GEX information, the gamma exposure information. And I'll give a little rundown on what that is in case you haven't seen my previous videos that talk about it. So on the left hand menu under ticker dashboards, if we go over to options, it will pull up a screen like this. And it's worth noting that this works on any ticker, not just SPY, but I'll just be demonstrating SPY because it's used it's pretty common to look at gamma exposure and banna and things like that on spy so there's a couple ways we can view this but if we scroll down to the very bottom we'll see it will pass all the dealer positioning stuff banna and charm we see the gamma exposure dashboard now this is the standard view of gamma exposure and if you've seen my previous videos about gamma exposure and how gex works uh, it shows this in a standard way where positive gex depending on its positioning and related to SPY, positive GEX can, can typically hinder a move, meaning if we're moving up into positive GEX, we might encounter some resistance. If we're moving down into positive GEX, we'll encounter, encounter some, I guess, what would be considered support, but it's basically just going against the move that's coming towards it, meaning dealers are either selling or, selling or buying shares into that move. And then Red, red gamma, negative gamma exposure is the opposite of that. So if we're moving down into some negative gamma, we'll see dealers start selling, which will help move that move lower. Or if we're moving up into negative gamma, we'll see dealers start buying, which will help that move higher. And that's very easy to confuse when you're looking at it, especially if you're new to dealer positioning and you're not sure what dealers are doing as they move into positive or negative gamma. So we can see here that the white bars on the GEX chart actually show our current current position. So we're right around 388, 389 around close today. This is happening after market hours, and this doesn't update after market hours because there's no options buying or selling occurring, and gamma exposure is all related on options buying and selling. And I'll assume that if you're watching this video, you understand what delta, gamma, uh, vega, theta, vanna, charm, what those things are. And if you don't, I do have a pretty long dealer positioning, gamma hedging dealer positioning video out there that you should definitely take a, take a look at before proceeding. So up in the top right, we can actually choose SpotX. And what SpotX does is it makes it easier to read. So it accounts for where spice, SPY's price is at and where the gamma exposure is. So the first thing you might notice, if we look at regular gamma exposure, this positive bar and remember with positive gamma exposure, if we're having a bull of, bullish move, so we're moving towards 390 and there's positive gamma exposure, dealers will counter that move, meaning that they're going to sell shares into that. So if we look at SpotX, we can see all of a sudden this bar becomes red because with SpotX, it's much more intuitive, meaning that if we see red bars, that dealers, we can expect dealers to sell as we move towards that strike. And if we see green bars, we can expect dealers to, to buy as we move towards that strike. So it, it simplifies things for us. So we don't have to think about positive and negative gamma in relation to where our price is at and in relation to where that gamma exposure is at. Instead, we can just look at it and say, oh, okay, big red gamma bar. This means that as we approach 390, dealer hedge, because of dealer hedging, market makers are gonna be selling into that move, which will make it more difficult to get above 390 meaning that we we're going to need some sort of big push in order to get past that point now we can see if we do clear 390 all of a sudden 391 392 393 394 all of these have smaller green bars so i mean that indicates that there's not going to be a ton of buying however it will be a supportive move so as we get as we reach 390 this this neg this uh spock x red bar this selling pressure from the market makers is no longer applicable and what we're more concerned with and this is an important thing about gamma exposure is it's not actually what's happening when we're on the strike it's as we're moving towards the strike and that's one thing 
that uh, a lot of people may not understand about gamma exposure is that dealers are buying and selling shares as we move towards that particular strike. So as we more move towards 390, dealers will sell into position. If we get to 390 and start getting past 390, then we'll start see seeing dealers buy shares to hedge as we approach 391, 392, 393, and so on. And the opposite is true for are the same is true i should say for, for if we start moving down so if we're at 389 and we start moving towards 388 and 387 we're going to see that market makers are going to assist this move down meaning they're going to sell shares as we move lower however all of a sudden as we start moving as we get to 387 and we start moving towards 386 there will be some share buying there not a whole lot nothing real major at this point and we are we should be more concerned with the larger spock x levels and that's something to point out is that when we get to these strikes where we see 390 380 this is where we can actually see market maker participation really make a difference so let's say that we do fall and we get past all these strikes here and we start getting to the 382 level we might get some dealer buying around 381 but once as we start pushing through that then we're going to get a significant boost at 380 as market makers sell to hedge that move and help push us lower so that's basically the gist of spock x it's, it's pretty straightforward to understand and the nice thing is that this chart actually updates throughout the day so if you keep an eye on this you'll see this move around now there are people out there that and that say that you really should uh filter and and see look at the seven day view and the 15 day view and i've actually looked at this myself and i actually don't really notice much of a difference by using that if we think about the way that dealers hedge they have to hedge all options and all greeks across that entire ticker so if we're looking at spy there's no reason why a the seven day ex, the options expiring within seven days matter more or less than the aggregate as a whole now that's a little bit different from market net flow because it is true where the shorter expirations seem to have a bigger impact on spice price but when it comes to gamma exposure we we are typically fine just looking at the aggregate and i don't really see any reason why you do need to look at uh shorter time frames unless you're doing some very advanced option spread type things which we might talk about in a different video however for for our purposes if you're using this to make a trade plan during the day you're trying to get an idea of where market makers will assist or resist certain moves then at that point we can just simply look at the aggregate of spock x for that information now if need be and i'll do a follow-up video on how we can export this to trading view a, a quick short video on that now we can view that what i'm about to show you in two places we can view this on the options dashboard or we can view this on the stocks dashboard and if we go up to one of these charts so this is the algo flow chart and if you're not familiar with algo flow it basically combines net flow combines calls and puts and shows it as one line to make it easy to to view how that net flow may impact price now the thing that i should mention is that if you're looking at spy it's important to understand that a lot of this positioning could be hedging so algo flow is unreliable we can even see index flow is often used for hedging which can sometimes mislead the algo so there's big big le red letters right here that says don't use net flow use market net flow instead but for what i'm about to show you if we look at the greek levels and we haven't seen a lot of success with using delta levels but where we do see a lot of success is using gamma levels and now if we put these on here and we just say all expirations we can see okay we have negative gamma levels and positive gamma levels and this is regular gamma so again based on where price is you have to think to yourself okay if i move towards these red gamma levels that's going to accelerate the move down because this is a standard gamma exposure however if we go to the stock dashboard again that's over here on the left and we go to greek levels we have an option for spock x here and i apologize actually i believe that option no it wasn't here so we can see on the stock dashboard we see spock x and we can choose all expirations and then all of a sudden it makes the color coding it does the color co coding for us so we can see here this red gamma exposure above us means we're going to encounter some resistance and it also is important to make sure that you set the time frame this will make it a little easier to view and so if we set the time frame to one minute just for this example 
and do all and that's what's nice about it you can do this across all time frames so actually let's drop this to the five minute here and we'll choose spot x and we'll say show us all levels now in this five minute chart and that's the other nice thing is that it's filtering out all of the more insignificant gamma levels so it's only showing us ones with the most amount of gamma exposure and what this shows us is that as we approach that 390 strike we're going to start getting resistance from a market maker perspective and this is important to note is that when we're in between these gamma levels we know that market makers are no longer really participating in the move as much i mean they are hedging as we move towards or away from them however there's a term that traded x coined called uh, ghost zones which applies to when we're in between these these dealer these greek levels these dealer positioning levels and as we reject off of a level or as we hold a particular level oftentimes at, while we're moving towards the next one we typically see price move pretty fluidly and it, it's a good time to enter a trade when we hold or when we reject one of these levels or hold one of these levels or break and retest one of these levels or optimal times to enter a trade now unfortunately in this case it doesn't i'm looking i went all the way from one minute to 30 minute and the only really notable level right now is 390 which does make a lot of sense because we have fomc coming up this week and this is a very significant level whether we break or hold 390 as of right now the gamma exposure means that market makers are going to assist with holding this 390 level but let's go ahead and pull up another ticker here to see if we can get a better view across different time frames with these gamma levels so again if we do the same thing we want to choose spot x choose all okay here we go with apple so we can see in this case we had this red gamma level down here and it took us several tries to break through it on apple now that being said market makers are not infallible meaning that they can't just keep pin price to where they want it at all times so market gamma levels do in fact get defeated and we can see here that once this gamma level got defeated we broke through it we opened underneath it and then we once we got past it we approach this and even though this green level shows that market makers are going to assist by buying as we approach it helping accelerate this move it still does act as a level and there's other factors involved such as price we can see price has reacted nicely here a few times however we did actually break this level and we did so with pretty good momentum and then as we retested it more market maker buying was occurring and then we get all the way up to this this gamma level up here and chances are as we we may bounce off of it a couple times but because it is uh, market makers will be assisting with this spot x level we can assume that they'll keep buying to help this move higher so this is a better example than spy was because there's more notable gamma levels on uh, excuse me spot gamma levels on apple right now but this is a really nice way to view them and like i said i'll do a short video on this but we can even easily export these into trading view which is really really nice so uh that's i'm gonna leave that video off here if you have any questions please let me know but hopefully you found this very helpful and i appreciate you watching